Hello my dear students, in the last video we studied about the estimation of fraction. Today we are st going to study about application of the rounding of numbers. So what, why the application of rounding of numbers is very important. So importance of rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers is useful while estimating the sum, difference, product or the quotient of a particular number. So by rounding of number we can get very close to the actual actual number so here i have explained with some with several examples i have taken three examples of estimation in addition so how to do it the first example is the round of the given number to the nearest tens and estimate the sum then find the actual sum and check how close the estimated sum is to the actual sum so the numbers include 498 363 and 821 so you will do the rounding of number rounding of the numbers so how you have to do round off round off should be done to the nearest tens it is written so 498 to the nearest 10 is how much? It should be 500. And 363 to the nearest 10 is 360. 821 to the nearest 10 is 820. So this we have done. We have rounded off to the nearest 10. Now you have to find the sum of the numbers. No, I will find the sum of the numbers. It will be... 1680. So actual sum. Now you will take the actual sum. This was the rounding of the estimated sum. Now the actual sum of the numbers. What it will be? Actual sum of the numbers. What will be? 498 plus 363 plus 821. If you will do 498 363, 821, what will come? 12, 1, 10, 10 plus 8, 18, 1, 8 and 8 is 16, 16, 82. So the answer will be 1682. So 1682 is the actual one and what we have round off, round off or estimated is 1680. So it is very near to one another. Now the estimated sum, estimated sum will write, estimated sum is how much? 1680. And now, now the difference between the difference between the estimated and actual sum. So you will take the difference between the two. 1682 minus 1680 is how much? It is 2. So the difference is coming is 2. The number 2. So the estimated sum is very close to the actual sum. We can write. So the estimated sum is close to actual sum. Now the other example is round off the given number to the nearest hundred. So you have to round off to the nearest hundred and estimate the sum. You have to find the star sum, the find the actual sum and check how close the estimated sum is to the actual sum. So the number given is 49183634 In the same way we have to find the rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers. What will be the rounding of numbers? 4918. 4900 you can take because we are we are doing to the nearest hundred. Now the second one will be 363 sorry 3600 and the third one will be 8 2 
8300. So we will have to add all these. Add. When we will add, how much it will come? 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1. And 1 is 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 8, 16. 16,800. Now we have to find the actual sum. This one is the estimated sum. Actual sum. So we will take the actual sum 4918 plus 3624 plus 8251. We will add all these 4918 plus 3624 plus 8251. We will add 8 plus 412 plus 131. It is 4 plus 5,9. 16, 17, 1, it is 8 plus 8, 16. So, the uh, number will be 16, 7, 93. So, the actual sum is 16, 7, 93. And the estimated sum is how much? Estimated sum is, is 16,800. So, we will find the difference between the two. Difference between estimated and the actual sum. Mated and actual sum. How much it will be? 16,800 minus 16793. That will be 7. So the estimated sum is very close. So, estimated sum is close to actual sum. Okay. So, the estimated sum is very close to the actual sum. Now, the next example is round off the given number to the nearest thousand and estimate their sum. Find the actual sum and check how close the estimated sum is to the actual sum. The numbers given are 894, 818, 76523, 62157. So you have to find the rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers you will find how much it is and it should be rounding off to the nearest thousand. So 95000. Zero, zero, zero. Then second one will be 77000. Third one will be 62000. So if you will add all these three, you will get add 95000 plus 77000 plus 62000. It will be how much? 2 plus 7, 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, 1. 6 plus 7 is 13, 14, 14 plus 9 is 23. So, 2, 3, 4, triple zero. Now, we have to find the actual sum. Actual sum. So, actual sum will be 94818 plus 76534 plus 62157. Now, we have to add all these 3. 94818 76534 62157 Add all these 3 12, 12 plus 7, 19 It will be 4, 10, 1 Then it will be 15, 1 Then it will be 13, 1 It will be 23 so the actual sum will be 2,33,509. So we will find the difference between the estimated, difference between the estimated and the actual, difference between estimated and the actual. So the estimated, estimated is 2,34,2,3,4,0,0,0 minus 2,3,3. 509 it will be 
it will be 491 so the estimated so estimated sum is close to actual sum it is very close 491 it is close to the actual sum so by this way you can find the actual estimation through addition so today we learned estimation in addition in the next class we are going to discuss about estimation in subtraction thank you